Coach, open up and take questions. Okay, uh, we're back home for our last game. Uh, big, big uh, game for us with the seniors being senior day. We got 20 plus seniors that will play their last home game. Uh, you'll talk to two of them here in just a minute. R.J. Harvey and Colby Hudson. That's meant uh, so much to our program, and really that's been our focus. Uh, we're playing Utah, a team in the same boat we are, uh, same record. Um, you know, you look at them and. Uh, time of possession, they're one of the best teams in college football in time of possession. Third down defense, I think they're second uh, in the country. They play really good defense. They hold on to the football. And uh, we're going to have to do a good job on special teams. They're really good on special teams too. But really, it's as simple as uh, you know, trying to win this game for our seniors and put those guys out on a, on a positive note. Questions? RJ Harvey certainly will go down as one of the best players in UCF history. You've coached some good running backs in your career. What is it about RJ Harvey that makes him special, and how, how appreciative are, yeah. are you of him for his contributions? Yeah, first of all, he's a true blessing to coach. Um, you know, he's extremely talented, but uh, he is an extremely hard worker. Every day he brings his A game to the practice field. Uh, he's a great example for not just our players, but. Uh, you know, everyone. We talk about using our influence in a positive way, and he's a prime example of that. Uh, he's the type of guy you root for. Uh, he's going to have a big time successful uh, career at the next level. And um, like I said, just hoping like crazy we can send him out on a positive note. He really deserves that. Guys, the, after the, the, the after and after the West Virginia game, what kind of what has been the feeling in the locker room? What, what, what is your message to the players? I mean, you mentioned it's for the yeah. seniors, but. What has been the message with one game left and, and yeah. when you get to the future? Yeah, we, you know, we had our team meeting, we came back, and we just had all the seniors stand up in the team room. And uh, you know, it's our last rodeo. We need to do everything we can to send these guys out on, on a positive note. Really, that was the, the message. Uh, we, we watched our corrections briefly. Uh, we're on a short week, and then we turned the page to Utah. We had a, a solid practice today. It was a base down um, you know, practice, and, but really it's as simple as that. You talk about turning the page. Obviously, th this season didn't go how you want. How do you use this game as a, a springboard into next year? Well, I, I think the big thing is kind of goes back to what I just said. You know about you know making sure our seniors go out first. I mean that that that's really our uh, our number one focus. Um, and then everything else. You know, ob obviously off season with everything that goes on. But but we really want to win this game for those guys. After the game, you saw, as you said, you saw some good things from Dylan Riss. What are yeah. some things you'd like to see him grow and develop? And do yeah, things? you know, I think, you know, for three games, I think we, we got to be really fair to him. I mean, he came in and gave our offense uh, more balance. Uh, we look completely different than we did um, the uh, the games before. You know, I mean, he's, in fairness to him, he's still a, a freshman. He's still learning, uh, but it's extremely important to him. Um, you know, he's the type that if he makes a mistake, he usually doesn't make the same mistake twice. and. You know, he'll get nothing but better. Josh, you guys had huge expectations coming in this year, the expanded playoff. How hard is this week now, knowing that you're not even bowl eligible anymore, to keep the guys focused? Yeah, well, you're exactly right. Of course, each week we've, you know, we've hit on that about the disappointment and all that. But I mean, this is, I know, I'm third time I said it, but it's really just simply uh, trying to finish for those guys. I mean, that's really where we're at in this season. Um, and our guys understand that, our coaches understand that, our players understand that. Um, I know it's going to be really important, uh, you know, for our guys to, you know, even the seniors to, to go out on a high note. And on that note, you, know, you mentioned uh, Kobe Hudson, the guy we're going to talk to you in yeah. a second, following from uh, Auburn. Yeah. What's, what's kind of stood out to you to, about him and getting to know him over the course of the last yeah. year? Yeah, yeah, Kobe is family. Um, we've been together a long time. and. Had her ups and downs, but he's a winner. He's a winner, and I've been so blessed to coach him. Uh, you know, we, we've got a real special connection, and he'll play at the next level too. He'll be very successful, and and uh, he'll be a great dad and great husband, and all that. And uh, so, real proud of him. Coach, uh, you know, like you mentioned before, you want to go out there, and give the guys, the seniors, one last win. Is there anything that you want to prove for yourself when out there trying to win this last game? You know, really, uh, just send our guys out. I mean, really, I know I've said that five times, but that's really, it ain't about me, man. It's about these guys. And we need to, everybody in our program needs to desperately do everything they can to help those guys go out on a positive note. Kind of on that, on that point, does 
does playing on a Friday night, you know, a holiday, holiday weekend, Friday night, does it, 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 you know, you obviously didn't want it to be your last game, but does that make this feel bigger or make this feel Yeah, I mean, we're on national TV on a Friday night. I mean, it's, it's a platform for our, our players, um, you know, and our program to, to play well. Talk about getting them one last win. RJ obviously tied the record for total touchdowns in program history. Is getting him over that record a goal of yours? 100%. Two more. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to hit down. Gus, you know, when you look at uh, the, 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 the team as a whole, you talk about some of the other seniors that are going forward. What would you like this, this group to be remembered for? This year. Oh gosh, um, the body of work. I mean, the two guys that you're fixing to talk to. I mean, you know, they've they've meant the world to our program. Been with us the whole time I've been here, and we you know we've had some good things happen. And the way they've handled themselves and represent our program, and um, you know, I couldn't be more proud of. I know every program is different with what they're going through, but as you said in your opening statement, Utah is pretty much in the same predicament you yeah. are. That was a program predicted to win the Big 12. Right. You said it was not to be a team that could possibly compete at the top, and both teams right now are struggling at the bottom. What do you think it is? Because we're seeing that more and more. You can, Look at the Big 12 standings. Right. I mean, they're pretty much reversed from what people thought it was going to be. Is it portal? Like, why, why do you think it is sometimes where teams that are expected to do well end up struggling? Yeah, I think there's a lot of different reasons, but uh, there's a lot of uh, parity in our conference. There's a lot of good teams. There's no bad teams. Uh, I'll, I'll say that. It's not like uh, other conferences where you have lower ten, ten, you got to bring it every week, and you know they went through the number of quarterbacks same way we have. I think that's probably uh, a good pl place to start, you know, which um, you know that wasn't the plan to begin with. I'm sure for them or us, and so I know that has something to do with it. Without the uh, benefit of extra practices that come with the bowl game, what might be the plans for Friday for working in some of the younger guys, giving them some more play? Yeah, I mean, we're going to honestly do everything we can to win the game. I mean, it'd be nice to play young guys and all that. And I think you even saw, you know, last week there's quite a few more younger guys who are playing specifically on special teams. You know, we're getting to a point where we're a little banged up and we've lost some people and some other guys got some opportunities to step in and, um, you know, to, to do their things. But more more on special teams than anything else. Last one, yeah. Um, after the game, when does the evaluation process begin about sort of the roster and the, and the staff? That yeah, it'll be after the game. Yeah, we're going to focus on everything we can for this game. All right, thanks. Everybody. All right, happy Thanksgiving, guys.